I wanted Nip to record me a drop, like, oh, go see Big Boy's comedy show. He didn't get around to it. So literally on the way home, I was like, man, when I get home, I'm gonna call him like, oh, it's successful and you know, and, and do what we usually do, bro. And when I got to the house, I remember my, my man Fuzzy, he had hit me up and he said, man, I'm over here by Marathon. He said, something's going on over here. He said, they got it blocked off. And I was like, man, I said, uh, he said, I'm gonna try to get closer. And when he called me back, he said, man, they're saying something happened with Nip. What was that day like for you, bro? Would, and did you feel any prem premonitions before we lost Nip? 100%, man, I think, man, we just, uh, it's my cousin's birthday, so the night, I wanna say the night before, it took us to uh, Wally's, Beverly Hills, me, Pops, um, and Adam, my cousin Adam, and uh, just had a long talk with bro, you know, not to get into too much detail, but it was a lot of big politics, getting into it with certain people. You know, Hustle had DJ Khaled in the hood. Not to be speaking too much on shit, but we came front line like we always do. And you know, niggas gonna know we gonna crash out behind it. Back, we not playing, and nobody saying nothing to Khaled, and nobody doing nothing to Khaled, and he's straight. And Hustle, front line that. And um, you know, we felt like certain people didn't, didn't like that. And um, did the video, Khaled, Got out of there perfect and we smooth and you know we appreciated Khaled for the for, for for showing up and coming to the hood and and, and doing the video and um you know we, we we knew that this was gonna be one of them one of them ones one of them videos man Hustle brought DJ Khaled to the hood and uh, you know had John Legend in, in, in the other scene so we at Wally's and we just chopping it up about a lot of shit man just you know, making sure that we on point and security and when, when we pull up, it's, you know, we like hustle. When you pull up to the shop, call us. He like, bro, I'm not calling you niggas when I pull up. I'm not calling you niggas when I pull up. And we like arguing and just, you know, but turn into, um, you know, a little bit of that. And then back to the, back to, back to the, um, you know, celebrating bro, uh, Adam birthday and hustle got us the back room and, you know, you know, uh, family there, chopping it, and uh, just us four. And we stayed there forever, man. And when we when he walked out, um, we all walked out the back room of Wally's. Uh, I think Rivera, one of the guys that filmed the video, just happened to be there. And so he see us walking out, he's like, oh, Hustle, what's up? And he's like, man, what's going on? He's like, bro, they just sent me the first edit of the video. And so he pulled it up. and. He, he like, man, look at this, bro. You look, you look amazing, bro. You about to do movies after this. Look at this shot. And so Hustle seen it, and Hustle was smiling. Hustle was happy. He seen, he seen the shots of the, um, of the video. He's like, man, he's telling him, like, bro, ain't no more, ain't, ain't no more uh, small time shit, man, after this, nigga. Your shit going out the roof. And so, you know, we was all happy and shook hands with them, and then we left. And um, that was the last, last interaction, bro. And that was the night before? The night before, Saturday. And so sun, Sunday, what was that morning like for you, Sam? Sunday, um, it's regular Sunday, man. I think uh, we had a, we, you know, we had spots in the hood, so one of the spots, we saw, we had a little weed spots, 24-hour spot. And um, I think it was my boy uh, who usually do one of the shifts. I had to cover one of the shifts, and so, um, I was in it, I think I was in it all night. And um, I end up, the morning shift came in and I ended up leaving. And so my goal was to go to the house and uh, sleep a couple hours and then go back to the shop and, fin and close the shop up for the rest of the night. So I'm at Granny house, uh, sleep on the floor. And uh, this phone just going crazy, man, it woke me up. And I picked the phone up and, 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 you know, forget who called me, man. I just hear people screaming in the background. And they like, man, you know, bro got shot. So I just immediately just run out the house. And uh, just jet out the door. My grandma was in the, in the living room watching TV. So she seen me run out, didn't close the door, just got in the car. 
grandma's on fifth in Slauson. So the shop is maybe like six blocks away. So I just ran every light, every stop sign and I get there and man, it's just going crazy, man. You know, everybody's screaming and I just see bro and I'm just, you know, it's fucked up, but bro still breathing. I think uh, Kev Mack was like talking to him and trying to uh, tell him, you know, breathe, stay, stay with, just breathe, bro. So I'm looking and trying to, uh, you know, we need to figure this shit out. So somebody had to, um, I think ambulance on the phone and everybody screaming. Take the phone and I'm trying to talk to to the ambulance. They say they come in and they telling me, you know, I'm asking them like, like what, what do we need to be doing? And so they um telling me to try to administer CPR on bro and asking me, is he breathing? I'm like, yeah, he's still breathing, you know. And uh just try to do the best that we could and finally, you know, police came and ambulance came and um they took him. And so I'm just praying, you know, I, you know, I had a lot I had faith that uh bro was gonna be all right. And uh, you know, then I had a lot of people shot in that parking lot and we you know, I done drove multiple people to the hospital and you know, I'm like, man, if anybody make it, bro gonna make it for sure. And uh, that was just, that was the ride to the hospital, man. Just praying and, you know, uh, I, was, I was confident bro was gonna be good, man. And uh, just couldn't understand it, man. It's like the twilight zone after that everything I, I, I believed in or my faith in shattered.